that Jules Malema from South Africa, South African leader, leader of the world of EFF, uh, just made statement, made all the stuff that's happening in South Africa. Uh, and earlier this, today, I, because of uh, uh, Robert Mugabe uh, passing, I said a little bit about him, but then I did a, another thing about elders. And then Robert Mugabe passed, I, I gave him a little libation like that. Uh, it's in the afternoon now. Like I said, I just finished uh, listening to the Malema thing. And uh, I have a few thoughts on this. As you can see, I'm wearing a Malema hat, which is, I guess, the youngest, well, let's say it's the youngest political party in South Africa, which makes it maybe the youngest, one of the youngest political parties in uh, Africa, maybe even the youngest political party here in the United States of North America, I mean worldwide I should say, here we have our own political movement, let's call it a party, a movement, and that's, that would be ADOS, uh, created and, uh, and at the moment headed, uh, we get our marching orders from Yvette Cornell and uh, Antonio Moore, which who are young people. Um, uh, also, also I should say this, and and, and it's not, it, right now it's a political uh, 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 AUS is a political advocacy movement. I don't know how you say it. There's no politicians that's on our side. We not and don't, we haven't. Well, there's no politicians to endorse. And the movement is just that young. Uh, but in Africa, it's kind of in interesting because, like I said, Malema is part of a political party and he sits in a parliament in, in uh, Southern Africa, South Africa. And um, his trajectory, in my mind, should be the head. He should deal SADC and then the AU or maybe just run to the AU. But we won't get into that right now. But there's another person on the planet, another young person on the planet, pretty young, I guess, that would be uh, PLO Lumumba, a young man. Um, and he's uh, both an advocate, uh, you know, an uh, outsider, if you will. And a uh, and an academic, uh, so so this is interesting. What's happening on the continent here in the states? You know, I guess in a way, but he's he's old now. He's older now. You could say Cornell West is an academic. Uh, well, we don't, I'm not going to get into personality. Let's say that. Uh, but I, I came to this morning when I was thinking about. It, I talked this thing about. Uh, I think something about the elders. You know, I was thinking, and I've been thinking for this a long time. When, when, uh, um, uh, Professor James Small, uh, uh, I should be uh, saying in a few, um, in a few weeks, he has this thing about the, the rites of passage and the eldership and all the rest of that stuff, and he and he basically says that at a certain age, I forget what the age was, then you in, you're into your eldership. You know, you're, you're always preparing for stuff in your eldership. I'm, I'm going by the numbers, just the mere numbers. I think um, it would be 63, because 6 and 3 is 9, so 9 is a complete number. So at 63, you should be thoroughly in your eldership, and you should, um, um, I don't say sit down, but you need to, to chill out, you know? You know, chill out, you know? Like if you are the VA's might be making me some uh, some regular glasses. These are my shades right now. Shut up, you know? Wear your glasses. You know, if you have to wear them. Or your reading glasses. You know, you have, they're making me reading glasses too. My eldership, you know? They're making me reading glasses. So you you can read books and write. Um, my heart, man, it's weird, I'm having a problem with writing. My, anyway, you can, you can uh, I like to write first and then whatever. The point is, you should be writing your memoirs. Something like that. Your advice comes through your memoirs. I think it was uh, George Bernard Shaw said, if you want to know someone, uh, read their letters. Well, that's been when people were writing letters and reading, I guess. You know, do that. Uh, uh, in fact, if you folks, those folks who have to, well, let me pour this first. Get yourself a bottle of red wine. I couldn't find a, a proper red wine glass because uh, I do like this. Sorry. Um, because JB likely doesn't really drink, so he doesn't have proper rare. I have, I, I didn't find him. Let's put it that way. Um, now get some red wine. Look like that. Uh, let me just tell you a little secret. I got some black cherry, pure black cherry juice in there. So at night, you should, you really shouldn't be drinking alcohol. You should drink some black cherry juice before you go to bed. But I'm not saying that. You know, drink in the middle of the day. You know, drink your wine and whatever, whenever you can. Oh, in fact, hey, my favorite thing. 
knows? Here's some. Here's a chocolate covered cherry. Mmm. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate red wine. Indulge. Part of political party. You can you can rest your political hat. Oh, by the way, the FF had the spear in their hands, and um, tip of the spear. It's a spear, early weapon. Change hats. Chill out. This hat is African hat. Made by my mother, my mother, <laughs> my wife. My wife was actually like she's like a combination of my grandmother and my great great aunt. Very bad. She's her personal anyway. She's an old soul. She created this hat. She's an African. She's an African designer, which means she she designed and created this hat. Means she's an African designer, but she's a human being. It's the only thing I contributed. I had to put this little wet sweatband in there. So I helped. I helped a young person. She's young to create something. And and then and one of the things I indicated in my little posting this morning. I'll, I'll, I'll try to put a link. Is where is your the person that 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 you inspired? Did you help them on? And I'm lucky enough. Actually, I guess it happened when I was 63. Right now I'm 69, going into my. I like to say, but I'm going into my 70th year. So, if anybody is above 63, that's who I'm talking to right now. Forget you, young people. I'm talking to you. I ran into, or well, let's say the the forces sent me a young man. He's under 30. I usually put his shirt on. He, he, he gifted me this, this shirt. He bought it and gifted it to me. I love this shirt. It's like a slave. It's like pure, you know? I usually wear it inside out, like backwards. I don't really want to cover up my Mangalisa Robert Sabukwe, who basically says that if you, you know, the Africa's for people who are into humanity. If you're not humane, you need to get off the continent. That's my advice as an elder. I've said this course as a he says we are fighting for the noblest of the noblest cause on earth the liberation of humanity that's what Mangalisa Robert Sabuki was fighting he was an old soul when he uh, when he was taken away so cover up you can then you know you keep you keep the sensibilities you you are who you are you keep it going but you then wear the cloth, a cloth that still has sensibility, but you wear a cloth. I'm fortunate because gifted by a young person. That means something to you. You sip your wine. You give advice that may or may not be taken. That's what you do. You read, you travel if you can. Hopefully you take somebody, well, you travel, you meet people and advise. You traverse the planet any way you want. You traverse the planet. Yes. That's what you do. If you are still trying to be in the spotlight, if you still are taking your bribes, you're still, you're still pimping movements. Your day is done. Young people are here. One of the things Malema said that I really respected because it, it, I have to meander just a bit. But 9 11 happened, I was there. When I was there, I mean, I was in the neighborhood, literally in the neighborhood. <laughs> right there, Lafayette, one block below Canal Street. I heard the second plane go overhead. I was doing, I was engineering Democracy Now! Uh, um, and at the time. It was, a, it was just a radio program at the time. We was engineering, and I heard the thing. And when it happened, we scrambled. I put, uh, I put News Radio 88 in my ear, and we started just reporting what we could. Amy was there, reporting what she could. I'm there. Brad's getting information. Anyway, that's what was that's what was happening. Miranda Kennedy hadn't come yet. Um, what's them hadn't come yet. Anyway, the point it was just. Oh no, she did come. Anyway, the point is, um, I was there when 9/11 happened. When it happened, it was eerie. It was kind of strange because when it hit, the old men. When I say old man, I'm not talking about George Bush. His advisory people was all his all his daddy's thing. This continuous thing when they these these exploiters, whatever. First thing they did, let's take the power of this country and go after someone. When it clearly was a criminal act. It wasn't an act of one nation. It wasn't a war act. It was a criminal act, but they escalated to a war act. 
Malema said something very interesting. He said, these are criminals. This is criminal acts. We go and deal with them in, in a criminal, in, on the criminal level, the criminal sphere, if you will. It's a police action. You see? That's a clear thinker. If America had clear thinkers back then, we still would not be in Afghanistan or wherever else, wherever else we, we are. The, what? It's all a plot. It's all a plan. It's all a thing to... Just a second. Put my dark glasses down because, you know... You understand what I'm saying. Clear thinking comes from young people who have a vested interest in the future. It doesn't come from old people who have plots and plans and have been pimping. It doesn't come from that. If you are an old person, sit your, how do I say, English say, arse down. Find a rocking chair. You know, most likely it was built by a white man, whatever. Okay, well, I don't want to get into that. In fact, build yourself a rocking chair. Go to the woods. Cut the, the timber, build a watch rocking chair so you know it came from your hands, came from the earth in your hands, and sit in your rocking chair. The people that need your advice will come to you. On this day and age, I guess you can create your own YouTube channel and you say what you say, and two or three people that listen to you, that's who you're advising. That's it. You don't need no spotlight. Old people, sit down. Young people, it is their planet. They know about humanity. They know about justice more than you do or have. Get out the way. That's the message from me. T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a reality of the A-D-O-S. That would be the North American descendants of chattel slavery.